So today we're going to be multiplying a mixed number times a mixed number, and we're actually going to be using it with tiles, and those tiles are not representative of one unit. They're actually representative of whatever it's telling you. So in this instance, number two says, let each square represent one-third. So in fact, each unit is going to be one-third times one-third. So this area, I'm going to take and multiply the side lengths of one-third by one-third. Well, one-third times one-third means that this area is actually one-ninth because I'm multiplying my numerators and then I'm multiplying my denominators. One times one is one and three times three is nine. So the area of one tile is actually one ninth. Now the next step that I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna draw out one and two thirds. In this instance, each one only represents one third. So I need to be sure to count that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down one third, two thirds, three thirds, which is one whole, and then one third, two thirds. And that's where I'm stopping at. So that is actually representative of my one and two thirds, which you can also see if you were to take this and convert it into a improper fraction. One times three is three. Add that to my numerator. Two plus three is five thirds. And in fact, I did go down five thirds. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing going across. I need to have two and one third. So one third, two thirds, three thirds is one whole. One third, two thirds, three thirds is two whole. And then I'm going to go across one more third as represented there. So now I can go ahead and finish out my rectangular area model. And again, you can check this using a improper fraction. Multiply your whole number times your denominator. Two times three is six. And then adding that into your numerator, which becomes seven thirds. And again, you can see that going across that I went across seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I went across seven thirds. So now what we do is we realize that I have 35 tiles in there. Now it's not 35 units, it's 35 tiles. And each unit we measured up here, each unit is one third by one third. So each unit is actually one ninth. So I'm gonna take that 35, and I'm gonna multiply it by the area of one of my um, tiles, which we decided was 1 ninth. So 35 times 1 ninth is the same thing as saying 35 times one, because I can set my whole number over one. 35 divided by one is still 35. So 35 times one is 35, and my denominator is gonna stay the same. One times nine is nine. So now what I need to do is I need to figure out, well, this is an improper fraction, but I need to go back to a mixed number. So I need to figure out uh, 35 divided by 9 equals what? So I'm going to think about my um, multiples of 9. I have 9, 18, 27, 36. Oh, 36 is too high, so I'm only going to be able to go in three times. And when I regrouped that three whole, uh, 9 times 3, I'm taking 27 away. So 35 minus 27 leaves me with 8, and my denominator stays the same. So I have 3 and 8 ninths square units. Good luck, guys. Oh, and for your interest, if you were to write your name and the word... Mm, Monday on a piece of paper, I will draw out a name for a special prize. Thank you and stay tuned for the next video.